a roller coaster how you have to like meet the minimum height requirement? I don't know. What? What? Not care, you know it's dirty. That's dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! No, 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 I knew it! No, no, no. Come on, come on, you guys keep dirty? Four inches. You guys are good. Yeah, four, four inches. You guys are good. Solid, We're actually destructive for you guys. We're asking for you. Is it the size of the boat or is it the motion of the ocean? No! Oh, don't do no. that! No, that's the worst! <laughs> oh shit. I'm nervous uh, for this video, no, no, dude. No, no, don't be nervous. Okay, guys, listen. This is about to get real deep. This is probably the scariest video we've ever made. You guys read the title. Just be prepared, okay? We're gonna do it anyways, because we're the Tenbush twins and uh, we're curious. But what are you doing in the back, by the way? Oh, I'm in the back because we have a special guest today. Special guest. You guys know her, you better know her. I think I came around. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good, you're good, you're good. Hi. This is Carrie Victoria. We'll pop her YouTube. You guys will see it. It'll be in the description. Everything. So you guys can go thank subscribe you. to her. Please do that if you support us because we support Carrie. Wow, thank you for She's, that plug. That yeah. was so good. Forehead's looking kind of big today though. So. Dude, my whole face mm. is looking big. Do you see this? <laughs> go subscribe to Carrie. Let's please. show her our team is strong. After please. you watch this though, watch yeah, this watch first. It. Because on her channel, we're doing it the opposite. So this uh, video is asking, or you clicked on the video. You know what it is. <laughs> yeah, you know the title, but it's the opposite. So what are we scared to ask girls? So it makes it even more awkward because we've known Carrie for a while, but we haven't seen her in years. <laughs> I don't think I've seen you in like six years. It's been so long, so I think we're just gonna get right I'm into it. We're just gonna go right in, yeah. I'm scared. You're no, scared. You get, you you're, talking about no, being, no, no, no. you're talking about being scared to ask me. I'm scared to answer. No, no, no. no. Okay, okay, I'm gonna be scared to answer yours too. All right, here we go. Okay, so how do I ask this first one? Uh, is it attractive when guys play hard to get? Got you guys. Yes and no. Okay, oh. hear me out. Because I think girls, not to be like stereotypical, but I think girls don't like the chase quite as much as guys do mm -hmm. because we want to know you're interested. Really? I think you can play hard to get while still simultaneously giving me certain signs that are going to yeah. indicate mm. that you're still interested. So you okay. want signs? Yeah, so like I want signs. I don't want clingy, but like I want enough to know that you're interested. Okay. Because okay, you know it I mean? seems like girls always go for the guys who are so hard to get. So uh, that's a good question. That's a, yeah, I guess that's a fair point. Maybe some girls like that, but I like more security. Like I like to know. Right. I don't want to chase after somebody that blatantly seems uninterested. There guys, this, this one's for you. I know all you guys want to know this. Do girls like the douchebags or nice guys? Okay, hear me out. Okay. Hear me out for this one. This one. What? Did you hear me out? So you're giving the douche. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, see, my boyfriend is the nicest guy. Okay, he is one of the nice boys. Okay. However, there was a point in my life where I was drawn to the douchebags. Really? Now there are two root causes of this for women. Yeah, why? Yeah, what one, is it? Like masculinity? Such what is as it? daddy issues, for okay. sure. Okay. okay, because like, for instance, me don't have a dad. Hmm. Light topic, but so like I would think I was drawn to like that overly masculine or like the stereotypical masculine, mm -hmm, which mm -hmm. is associated with like douchey behavior. Also, that make, that that's why she liked my hoodie <laughs> in, the, in the jean jacket. And that's why and I got wow. that. Okay. Also, though, not only that, but a lot of girls that still don't have daddy issues will go for douchebags because I feel like we all need to go through a phase in our life where we just don't choose you know we don't make the best decisions mm -hmm. am i getting a phone call right now <laughs> okay i don't know We're you making so I'm a she's popular guys yeah i'm famous, famous. sorry um it's my publicist calling <laughs> hard to get you know difficult guy hmm. with a lot of baggage because we think we can fix them right you know right. but they're not the one that we're going to end up wanting to marry you know oh, what i mean you hear so that nice guy? It's, okay it's, listen. <laughs> listen so like the nice guys like just wait it out and you will get your time yes. but just don't go for the young nice girls. guys always finish last <laughs> yeah, they finish, <laughs> yeah. yeah literally yeah. they always they yeah. might finish last but they will finish before the bad boys will i promise you that, oh. that's understandable because i kind of used to be a douchebag in middle mm -hmm. school and then i started me. like in middle school out. I know. In middle school. Middle school. Middle school. And then I started leveling out like 10th grade. You know, I just started doing me and then mm -hmm. eventually the girls will just start coming to you. You know what yeah. I mean? When you just be yourself and you focus on yourself. So oh, the good guys always get their time. <laughs> They're the ones that girls want to what um you know what is the, what's the term? I would say wife up, but mm -hmm. yeah, that's a man. Husband so. up. Husband up. You're the ones that girls want to husband up. They just need like a little bit of time to go uh -huh. through that phase, you know, before okay. Carrie, why do I get deep? Why do I have to ask this question? Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> um <clears throat> 
Do girls really enjoy the, the dirty? <laughs> I mean, like like rolling around in the mud, you know, yeah, like, no. scraping your knee, like yeah. the dirty. Oh yeah, well, yeah that. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Going so, like a little uh, mud bogging, yeah. Totally yeah okay, down for that. okay. I was that, just yeah, curious. that's what you mean, right? <laughs> no, Carrie, you know what we mean. The dirty. The dirty. <laughs> Depending on the girl, yes. If if she has daddy issues, probably more so, yes. Okay. Really? So it's it's hey. a lot of daddy but, issue stuff. But you also. Dude, I have so many of those, yeah. but in a good way. It's fine. It's contributed mm. to my character and it's given me content, That's so I'm completely fine with it's it. It's important to have a man in your life, I feel like, so I, I understand yeah. that. I really do. No, it really is important. I just think it's, yeah. I think it. I think people underestimate, you know, how much that does contribute. Yeah, to, seriously. Because that's supposed to be the first person that mm -hmm. shows you love and, love and affection before, you know, your yep. significant other you. comes and does it. Yeah. But, uh, no, yeah, I think girls do, but obviously not all the time. Like, I think girls need a good combination of that and romance. There you, know? you go. Like, we like a little some romance. Roses, some roses, candles. candles. Yeah. Gentlemen. Yeah, gentleman dinner. behavior, yeah. and, you know, that can come later. But, like, at least for me, I need to be very comfortable with somebody before okay. that's going to okay. come into play. That's mm -hmm. fair. So the romance has to come first. Okay. Like, this isn't even a bad no. question. Do looks really matter? Oh, did, wait, did you skip? You get the bad one. Come ah! on, you can't <laughs> skip. Do Go looks on, really matter? Uh, I mean, yes, yeah. be, but but beauty or attractiveness is so subjective. He's getting back in the car. I was like, where is he going? Dude, no. They're, it's so subjective, though. Okay, for instance, my boyfriend, I think he's so handsome, mm -hmm. and my one of my closest friends literally is like, no, he's so ugly. Really? She thinks he's ugly. Yeah. Who's that close friend? It's a, <laughs> Who is it? Shout it's her out right now. My friend Maddie, she'll, she'll tell you. She yeah. thinks he's ugly. And, that's, and he knows it. It's fine. Oh, okay, okay. It's totally fine. You know what? More for me. It's cool. But, like, yeah, it's so subjective. Yeah. So yes, looks matter. Like that's obviously, so there funny. has to be that initial, somewhat attraction to even get you to talk to somebody. Like, no, you, that's true. Of course. I mean, yeah. I. It's th always gonna have some kind of play. It's got. It's to. gonna have a play. Yeah. It's got. To. But it's not everything. And yeah. I'm a firm believer in the fact that people become more attractive when you get to know their personality. Mm -hmm. it's because true. that's huge for me. Like I think yes, I looked at my boyfriend when I first met him, and I was like, oh yeah, you're good looking. But I got to know him, and I was like. End love. game. Yeah, yeah, like you're ten times more attractive now because you have a yeah. good personality. <sighs> Are periods really that bad? Like, should it really consist of a whole? Yeah, like, is it is it worth? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> he makes her so scared to ask this. Dude, you cannot offend me. Gonna get I'm gonna get punched. not offend me. They suck, yes, but I also think a lot of girls over exaggerate. Yeah. I knew it! Yes! No, no, no. I knew out. it! No, no, no. no, they are awful, but when I say over exaggerate, I don't mean that they're any less awful than they say. I just think that yeah. no matter how awful it is, it's unnecessary to like make a big deal out of it. Yeah. Like I'm just gonna sit and kind of writhe in my pain. I don't know if that's a word. Writhe. Right. Right. I don't think pain. that's a word. Can we get a fact check? <laughs> I, can we get a fact check? <laughs> I think I'm, I'm just gonna kind of sit and like I'm just not gonna talk about the fact that I'm in pain. You know what I mean? That's right. where I think girls get kind of over the top. Sometimes they're like, yeah. oh my God, I'm dying. It hurts so bad. <laughs> like. I mean, okay, yeah, it hurts really bad, but do you need to be weighted on hand and foot, and do you need, you know, your boyfriend to, like, do every single thing for you that right. entire week? I don't really think so. <laughs> I think that's a little bit of milking it. If you could describe the feeling, like, would you rather, like, slam your hand in a door, or would you rather have period cramps? Would you rather stub your toe? Or would you rather oh, have period, period cramps? Dude, stubbing your, <laughs> no, dude, stubbing your toe, toe is not right. to be played with. That's that like is the shot. worst. <laughs> that yeah. is the worst. No, they, they're they really bad, but I also think that our bodies were made for that, too, mm -hmm. so I feel like we just know how to handle it. Yeah. Right, like, yeah. I mean, some would tell you that childbirth is, like, absolutely unbearable, but women just were bad at it. Just not I mean, they it. really, true. Hey, women like, are underrated. We were made for, for that, so, I mean, yeah, it hurts, but it's, it's bearable. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Does the size of the boat really matter? <laughs> <laughs> really, the size of the boat. Well, come on, because sometimes the waves can get pretty high, so I need my boat to be stable. So, is it the size of the boat, okay. or is it the motion of the ocean? <laughs> okay. Um. Not that me and Logan have anything to worry about, guys. Yeah, we. Just, okay, we're I not won't... saying we're worried about it. <laughs> I just want to know. know. <laughs> not that we have anything to worry about. We just want to know, you know. Um. Speaking for the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we. <laughs> We're asking this question for you guys. We're asking for you. It's a scientific study. Okay. So the motion of the ocean is still number top tier. That's still that's gonna be okay. the most important thing. Oh. Okay. But okay. the st <laughs> I'd say you know like how a roller coaster, how you have to like meet the minimum height requirement. I just Hold on. <laughs> what? There's a 
Hold on. There's a I requirement like, here. I feel like a girl, any girl, I mean, I haven't personally experienced anything like that where, you know, I had to think about it, but, um, just focus on it, Carrie. <laughs> but, but I do think that there would be like, I mean, okay, so you hear like the what U.S. average like five and a half. Okay, so like yeah, that's fine. I think the the um, vaginal, the whole vaginal like canal is only like four inches. So okay. as long as you meet that and you can you know get to the end of the tunnel, <laughs> then like you I think you're Carrie? okay. The uh, end of the hold tunnel. Hold on, do you guys see Carrie? Four inches. You guys are good. Yeah, four, four inches. You guys are good. Solid. Bro. Solid. <laughs> <laughs> Four inches and then you're good. I think it matters in a sense, but not to the degree that people make it seem. Like yeah. if you genuinely like fell in love with somebody and then found out later like, oh they have a four inch peener, you might you might be a little upset. But I feel like love prevails. Okay. Gary, some people are struggling to hit the two and a half inch threshold. <laughs> So I think four inches. Is that a real thing? I hope not. <laughs> I hope people are joking. I would feel really if bad. If you're dealing with that, then love can prevail. Okay. Okay. But it can. Boys, motion of the ocean is on top. And but if motion, you're above of the, four, motion of the motion of the ocean is still yeah. Motion yeah. of the ocean is still top tier. Yeah. You still you gotta know what you're doing. Just okay. wash a lot of the hub. And you'll be good. No, oh, don't do no. that. Don't. That's the worst. No, Dude, get a, get no girl. girl wants to be treated like a porn star. No, no girl. There's no way. Do you see some of the comments we get from the three porn stars? That yeah, you don't. You see our porn star comments? comments? No. There's three of them. They're gonna There's be like, three. um, I do. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, um, this They're girl. They're like, I in fact do, do not speak for me. Is what he's thinking? What does I'm fine really mean? It means I'm pissed off. 100%. Like, that's my top tier of like angry. Oh, really? That's yeah. Top. That's top tier. I will. I can't think of anything else I'd say. Oh, I'm fine. No, that is a universal term. I feel like. Yeah. Okay. Is that for most girls? It's a little. I think it would be for most girls. I feel like okay. it's a little bit of a toxic thing to do. I won't lie. It is kind of toxic. But I don't know what else to say when I'm mad. You know what I mean? I don't want to be like I'm pissed off. <laughs> I'm you so know? Pissed. I'm so pissed. Like I'm fine. I feel like just saying I'm fine is gonna get that message across without me sounding psychotic. Okay. What should a guy do? Oh. When he gets the message, I'm fine. Oh. Like, yes. What should a guy do? That's a good Depends question. on the Should he leave you alone? Should oh, he... no. I don't... Okay. Well, excuse me, I just burped. <laughs> so um, did I at the same time. Did we really? Did oh, my God. I, <laughs> um, I don't think that you should leave her alone. I don't think you should badger her either. Like, I'd maybe give her a phone call. Okay. Like, hey, babe, like, how's it going? Are you okay? Um, maybe something subtle. Give her the opportunity to speak on her being upset. You're okay. top tier pissed off and you want me to call you? No, yeah, I'm, I'm too scared to Yeah, call. I mean, I want you to call me, but you probably wouldn't want to call me because you don't know what you're going to get. If your girlfriend says, I'm fine, just call her. Or could we like send just like a nice paragraph? Like, hey babe, I know you're that would, Yeah, that fine. would work too. That would work too. Yeah, a nice paragraph could work too. Like, I understand why you're upset. That's a big thing too. My boyfriend will like say a lot of the time, I understand your frustration, mm -hmm. but... That is a big thing. Oh. Then you get your point across, but you're also acknowledging you understand why I'm upset, even if you don't. I'm just pretend like you do. I'm gonna use that. I understand your frustration, but sense. and then just go <laughs> but in. It's Guys, like a compliment sandwich. Pretend. Sweat. Do girls really like peen pics? Pee no. I no. think it's the idea because a girl doesn't obviously want to send something and then not receive something because I feel like that makes her feel kind of like bad. Mm -hmm. But I'm more attracted to like the male physique than oh. that. I would much rather him just send me like a nice picture with no shirt on right. than a picture of his, yeah, ding-a-ling. I don't, Show I don't want to, I don't really so want to So does it ding a ling yeah, I've heard that I'm not, so <laughs> I'm just, yeah, it's not, like that's not it for me. That doesn't do anything okay, for there me. There you go, boys. See, don't embarrass yourselves. Yeah, you, know? you don't even have to go past that factor. Just don't embarrass yourself. Just yeah. Dad bods dip, are hot know? topics right now too. Plus so again, I feel like if you start off on that basis, it's your own fault if she doesn't like you because yeah. you're not giving her the opportunity to get to know your personality before right. she knows you physically. Like she knows your dick better than you. Yeah. Maybe that's it's the a reason why a lot of your relationships didn't work out. He, I do not <laughs> send D pics. This is actually a really good question me Mason thought of. Do single girls like it more when a guy's in a relationship? Because it seems like as soon as a guy gets in a relationship, yep. every girl is in the DMs. Every single girl. I existence. Okay, so again, I feel like I grew up a very different way, so I have a little bit of a different level of maturity. However, I am not oblivious to the fact that a lot of women do feel that way. Dang, I would say, so me weird. personally, Why? me personally, no, because I would never want to step on another girl like yeah. that. But I don't doubt that there are a lot of other women that do want that chase. So they like or, competition? Yeah, it's, it's like a competition because then they can say like, 
I mean, if a guy's single, then it's like, and he dates you, like, there's nothing there. There's no trophy yeah. there. But, like, if a guy's with another girl and you can take him from That's her. That's good. Trophy. It's like a trophy, mm, you know? Bro. So I don't doubt that there are women out there that are like that. Girls yet. are dirty. No, we, I've noticed that. We can be. I mean, yeah. depending on the girl, I don't doubt that men and women can be petty. Yeah, this is the last question. I guess this, you're gonna have to speak for the crowd here. What's a female's biggest turnoff? Like, if for the majority of women, yeah. like maybe uh, every girl is different, obviously, but yeah. what is the biggest turnoff that a guy does? Biggest, oh, you might have to give me a second to think about this one. I know, and that's can, what I'm saying. You it's can a hard edit question. out the silence. <laughs> it's a big responsibility for me to speak on all behalf of all women. Yeah, that's true. Um, that's true. So, ladies watching this, if I'm completely wrong, I'm sorry, but I'm doing my best. Just comment what your um, biggest turn off right, Yeah, exactly. comment yours, but I'll give my, my best one. <laughs> I would say maybe gaslighting. I don't know if you guys know what that is. Mm -hmm. Gaslighting. So gaslighting is a term used when a girl is upset, not a girl, anybody, but generally they use it in terms of like domestic abuse situations. Mm -hmm. But if someone is upset and then the partner or whomever it may be makes them feel crazy for why oh. they're upset, even though they caused it, Ooh. makes them feel crazy for okay. being upset and kind of turns it back around on them. So that person who did the gaslighting can feel like the victim. Mm, that's right? good. That makes sense. We know a few people, huh? Yeah. I think the nicest thing that anybody could do for a girl is to just make her feel like her feelings are valid. Even if you don't necessarily agree, validate her emotions yep. and then proceed to have a conversation about the issue. Yep. So what about like if you're in high school, you're in the cafeteria with your friends, your girlfriends, and like you're attracted to this guy. Okay. Like what's one thing that he could do like... Just in general, that would just be like, Okay, oh, so you're right. talking something quicker. Yeah. Something more... Yeah, something quicker. Okay, like, I'm let's speak for people like that aren't in a relationship, you know what I mean? But okay. it's good that you did the first one, too, because yeah. we okay. got in relationship and out of relationship. So if I'm not in a relationship... A big turn on. I know this is really cliche, but humor. So that's a turn on. That's a big turn on for that's me. A turn humor. On. I have like back in like I think in ninth grade. I'm not using names obviously because I'm not trying to throw myself under the bus. <laughs> but before I met my boyfriend, there was this guy that was not surfacely attractive. Yeah. By like societal means, obviously mm -hmm. that's a stupid you know stigma. But like it was just he wasn't like surfacely attractive. And then I got to know him, and he was so at, like so freaking funny that I started Jeez. to like. Be like, oh my gosh, I kind of like this kid. Like, I wow. was just taken in by his humor. Yeah, okay. I think f being funny is a huge thing. So if you're ugly, <laughs> yeah, nobody's ugly. If you're ugly and you're funny, you're fine. <laughs> nobody's no. ugly. So I've you... been told I'm ugly and I've been told I'm beautiful. It just depends on who you're talking to. Is that it, Mace? We don't have any more questions. Oh, we have oh, plenty. God, it's over. I'm that's tired. Why we, that's why we can make a part two, part three. <laughs> yeah, part two, part three. So we had we asked ten questions. Um, I mean, we asked the little ones in between. So if you guys want more videos with Carrie or more videos asking questions to girls that are guys are too afraid to ask. Comment down below. Yeah, there's so many different things we could do with this. Like we could have a, another girl, we could have a group of girls when Ooh. we ask. That would be interesting. That a would. lot of different perspectives, yeah. I think Carrie did a very good job. Um, like you. we said, guys, go check out Carrie's channel. Yes, please. Please go check her out. Yeah. And like, subscribe if you want to. If you, if you want. <laughs> if you want, you don't have to. All right, we love you guys. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Peace out. Bye.